Hey y'all, welcome back to Coffee and Composition. I'm April Sojourner Truth, president of A Little More Truth LLC. And for those of you who may be joining us for the first time, this is our segment to take the woes out of your next writing assignment. So if you were with us in the first video of the new year, you heard that we're gonna be getting back to the nitty gritties of grammar. And this week we're gonna start with verbs, which you may be thinking, I know what a verb is, it's pretty simple but there's a lot of sentences out there running around without their little verbs attached to them making them sentence fragments remember we talked about that last year and they're just loose thoughts hanging out there so we're going to talk about verbs what they are look at a few and just keep it simple getting back to the basics so grab your coffees yes your coffees and let's get started so before we dive into verbs, as always, if you feel like you need a little bit more than these brief segments, be sure to check out our website to see which package may be right for you or your student for some more tailored, individualized um, learning. So what is a verb really? A verb is the word or group of words that shows the action of your sentence. So let's take it a step further. There are two types of verbs that come together to make up a verb phrase. We have main verbs and then we have helping verbs. So let's look at some main verbs. Main verbs are verbs that can express action on their own. Typically, they'll be used in the present or past tense. Helping verbs are always gonna go before main verb. Some examples are should, would, have, etc. Helping verbs, like some forms of be, have, and do, can function as main verbs as well as helping verbs. All right, so let's look at some examples. In this first example, we have the garden produced a large tomato crop. Here, the main verb is produced. We don't need anything before it. It stands on its own. It's in the past tense. It's good to go. In the second sentence, we have the snowstorm may have created a new seasonal record. So created is our main verb. May have is our helping verb. And we could do the sentence with just the main verb, but the may have gives us a little something different to the sentence, a different tone to the sentence. In the third sentence, we have, I will be late to the Zoom call tonight. So here we have be acting as a main verb, standing on its own, not needing a helping verb with it. And then finally, if that's okay with you, did you fall for it? Is it a sentence? Is it a sentence fragment? Where's the verb? I'll let you think about it. The key takeaway here is that a sentence without a main verb or verb phrase isn't really a sentence. It's a loose thought looking to take action. So we need to be sure to add that verb into it and give it the action that it's looking for. As always, if you're ready for more, want to talk to us, be sure to reach out to us at our website at a little more truth and we will see you next time.